about that? How about that? What's up? If you're just joining us, this is Rock Tour Live here on Y254 TV. The hashtag is Rock Tour254. We are on Facebook as Y254. We have a post. Go comment below. Where are you watching from? Represent your hood. What do you want to listen to? I told you, if you already know who our guests are, send through the questions. There are so many of you who are waiting for them. They are here. Already, they are already here, but I'm super super excited. Oh my god, don't hate me! I'm literally such a fan of the band, so don't be like, Oh my god, what's wrong with that? No, no, <laughs> but the guys are here. I'm so excited that they are here. First of all, they're Kenya's sweetheart, especially the Roxin. According to the Roxin, they, they can never do any wrong. I'm, 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 I'm serious, I'm not even playing. <laughs> there are seven piece band. A metal core seven piece band right here from Nairobi, Kenya, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for NYT! You know? Now, every single day, I, I, I know most of you know this, like every single day when you're playing anything, or if you have any, any news from you, you guys, when I talk about LYT, I'm only, I, I say it like four times. I'm always like, <laughs> LYT, LYT. Because from, from, from every time we're, we're hanging out at an, at an event, every time you're done playing, guys always want more. So yeah. they're always chanting Encore. that, Encore. LYT, Encore. Yeah. Encore. you know? Yes. So <laughs> I always find myself saying it so many times. I just keep going on and on and on. All right, now, you were here last time. Diallo yes. was here. Yes. Ted was here. Yeah. Cheesy was not here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. but you all are back. Mm. Yeah. Shukrani sana. Yeah, you're <laughs> most welcome. Yeah. yeah, you're most welcome. I don't even know where to start. I'm just like, mm. all right, cool. Yeah. But we're going to do this. We got this, right, guys? We, we got this. OK, cool. All right, now, I think we're going to just start from back then like you were not even here because when you, we like the last time you guys came we were still very young we we're just getting started the show hadn't picked yeah so for the guys at home i think we're just gonna get it from the start like you never came to the show okay. but i'm gonna start with the introductions first uh you can introduce yourself and then ted is gonna do the same as yeah. well as d yeah. for the guys at home to for those who don't know you to yeah get yeah. acquainted uh, so, so my name is david Boro. uh i'm the lead singer uh i do the screamers uh, but more guys from the same nomi as cheesy, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do the harsh vocals for the band. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that was much better when yeah. you said harsh vocals. Yeah. And then Ted comes in with the yeah. clean vocals. Yeah, the clean yeah. vocals. Yeah. So, oh, never introduce, sorry. Kindly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> carry on. Yes, so uh, I do the clean vocals, but uh, as maybe many people have, or whoever has listened to the album right now, has yeah. listened that we've all evolved yeah. in a particular way. So I also right. do a bit of the screamer, thanks to me. Good colleague, yeah. 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 show me how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, I do clean vocals and uh, I'm also a colleague singer. Right. Mm -hmm. I know that you're just getting started on the harsh vocals. Do you ever lose your voice when you're doing it? Like maybe and then the, you can't talk yeah, the yeah. next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Shouting for like, you know, like in a, a busy career street in town. Yeah. yeah. That's how I shout. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's quite crazy, uh, yeah. but uh, I'd say like in the earlier, <laughs> when we were starting out as a band, uh, the harsh vocals are very hard to do. Because yeah. you do like one song, I'm two songs, if like the guys are not helping me out, like in terms of the backup vocals. Yeah, right. It's, it's hard because your voice, like after two songs, three songs, because... Your voice is done. Yeah, you're still learning. <laughs> yeah. So after the experience, I think right now, we're at a place, they have, they've been challenging me, we've been challenging each other. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it grows on you. But yes, you do lose your voice sometimes. Yeah. 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 But, but you become much better. Yeah, after, we practice. After just practice. practice yeah. And as you say, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Cool. So much, yeah. And then we have. Yes. Uh, my <laughs> name is Jalo. <laughs> um, everyone just calls me D. D. Uh, yeah. Right. right. So, yes. I am the rhythm guitarist for Last Year's Tragedy. Also, um, co-founder with yours truly, Cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Cheesy is one of my fans. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Yes. All about us. Yes. 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 He's the one who keeps a low profile, yeah, you get? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So his name is 
dialogue. But then you, well, we said when we were, when we were studying the interview, yeah. there are seven of you. So maybe you can yeah. introduce the other guys who are not here. Yeah. So. Um, of course, for the guys who are not here, uh, they're probably watching from home or from yeah. the places at work. Right. Yeah, so we have Maya Mutua, who is our bassist. Mm -hmm. We have Ruto Kipkole, who is our excellent, brilliant keyboardist. <laughs> yeah, and we have George Atsula, who is our drummer. Oh, yes. okay. And then we have, last but not least, <laughs> Joseph Wangonya, who is our lead guitarist. Lead guitarist. Yes. And you are the rhythm guitarist. I am the rhythm guitarist. Rhythm guitarist. I am technically the lazy one. <laughs> <laughs> He does all the heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But it takes a whole band. You know, it if does. you, you if does. you are not part of the band, there will be yeah. something missing. So yes. definitely everybody plays an important role. Yeah. But since we we said we are, um, we're going to start from the start. Yeah. So let's get started from where mm. it all began in campus. So whose wow. idea was it to form a band? I can wow. only imagine oh, a very wow. long time ago. Almost 10 years? Uh, oh, 10 more years. More than 10 years. Yeah. Oh, so from what I remember, so <laughs> this is how it actually started. It's a very funny story and maybe Cheesy will fill in the gap. <laughs> so at the time, I know when I joined, mm -hmm. um, of course I was really in even at the time I was really into rock and metal music. Right. Um, I didn't even know how to play an instrument. Probably still can't. Uh, wow, but, um, really? Yeah, so what happened is, um, <laughs> I mean, we're in Daystar University, and if everyone knows, Daystar University happens to be a bit more conservative like, uh, yeah. university. So the people who listen to rock music tend to stand out yeah. just by virtue of the shirts you wear and everything. So I remember during induction, um, Chizzy approached me, yeah, because I think I was wearing a Mad Vein t shirt. Right. It's like, hey, you look cool, or whatever. You, you don't know. see any of those around. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, see any like, so you like rock music, I'm guessing. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, who's this weirdo? But, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, he's like, hey, um, I have, uh, I'm with some friends who we just met, and they all like the, sort, the same sort of music and stuff. If you want to hang out with us guys, we go skateboarding. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so come and hang out. So literally, that is what started the seed what mm -hmm. grew the brand uh, so because we i mean we hung out with guys and we used to i mean after after our classes we'd, or even during mid classes would sneak out and go to one person's room i guess off campus and yeah. just go watch music videos like the latest music videos which i guess on those can you imagine yeah, when everybody else thinks you, like 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 you 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 left school yeah, I, to go, I don't know do what but exactly. you're listening yeah. you're, you're watching music yeah, can would, you imagine yeah, you're watching music it used to be such a huge number of guys i mean at the time it looked huge so like about 10 15 guys yeah stacked into <laughs> one small one bed sitter <laughs> <laughs> just watching vcds <laughs> <laughs> rock music videos that someone had bought from us had yeah. on CD and yeah we just used yeah, to but watch. fun times that yeah. it sounds so amazing yeah. even just talking about it yeah. and Chizzy so now the band is formed what was the ambition like mm. now we have a band so what did you have in mind like in terms of the band where did you want to see yourself right as, as a band uh, to be honest uh, uh, probably we are mirroring the bands we are listening to at the time yeah. so all of us were inspired and like Say we wanted to go on tour, you know, we are here, we are watching <laughs> DVDs, we are like, oh, these guys are having so much fun. Uh, we Let's put on just good music and mm -hmm. true music yeah. and learn yeah. as we go. And as you heard when the other was saying, I didn't know even how to scream myself. Right. Yeah. So it was a but whole determined. learning you process. Used to scream, you should tell it. Yeah. And he used to scream, actually. Yeah. He used to scream yeah. better. But he taught me. Uh, also some friends, we just learned off of each other right. and also there is the old scene, the, Ken, the old Ken and Rock scene, yeah. uh, we are the, uh, the guys for hip-hop had Wapi, us guys had we we, uh, we used to meet up for shows, actually they used to go for shows earlier than yep. before even we met up, Right. Uh, but also we used to go there, so basically what we wanted for LYT is just to make good music mm -hmm. and probably someday go on tour mm -hmm. or just inspire people right. yeah, because you know as uh, and i'll repeat <laughs> that again is evolving it's all about yeah, evolving. evolving so too. we used to mirror ourselves a lot to the other bands but as we grew you see. and as we are still growing yeah. uh we've come up i think with our own identity you, yeah, our own exactly. style yeah. our own signature yeah. Yeah. so i feel like every other yeah. artist has that an identity yeah. crisis yeah. Yeah. when you humiliate something you tend to be just like them so when you yeah. release music you sound like them yes. are like, oh you sound 
a lot more Listen, like yes. here. So I get that. So you evolved and uh, became you now, NYT, who now inspire other younger bands. Yeah, We're going to be talking about yeah. that. <laughs> I'll tell you about all the bands you yeah. inspire. But now I want yeah. to know about your first gig. Because I imagine yeah. this is like oh, 10 no. years ago. Oh my goodness. Wow. Tell me about that. Your wow. first gig. You see, first, first of all, you're in this People gig. don't know uh, about metal. Yeah. You get it? And then you guys are here. At the oh, can we really can talk about that? Can we really talk about our first gig? Yes, Nobody's going to dig it up. Our first gig, I think, our official first gig was within Daystar. Daystar, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah it mm -hmm. was within Ga uh, Daystar. And, um, the amphitheater. In yeah. the amphitheater. Mm -hmm. And it was a uh, fundraiser. fundraiser. Yeah, 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 for, I guess, the guy who... Joshu. Yeah, uh, I yeah. mean, he was in charge of the talk shop or whatever. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So it was a fundraiser. So y'all yeah. yeah. volunteered to perform? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one liked it so much, <laughs> but it was only you know, the only way we were going to get people to listen to us anyway. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that was our first gig, and uh, I can't, for the love of me, even explain how, how bad that was. <laughs> it was, it was. It was bad, but at the same time, I think it gave us... Mm -hmm. It gave us the motivation to do more and want to play more in front yeah. of people. Because, I mean, we knew we didn't sound as great. Yeah. But the crowd who was there just, you know, immediately <laughs> were friends. done. They were screaming. So yeah, they were all our friends. So they were just like, hey. like hey. And, uh, They're like, yeah. you suck, but yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <friends. laughs> exactly. So, thanks to them. Yeah, um, yeah thanks to them. Or the reason why here about, I mean, 12, 13 years later. Yeah, Because, wow. I mean, their support is the reason that us guys decided to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. And um, even back then, yeah. you know, I, I can imagine, no, not even then, right now, securing a spot to even play metal yeah. is still a challenge. It so is, how yes. was it, now off campus, yeah. we're still catching up, right? Now we're going to yeah. go to the album just a little bit yeah. later yeah. after yeah. this. Yeah. But now I can imagine um, right now it's still hard to book a space. So how was it then, like off campus, now getting a spot, you guys, mm. you, you're on a poster. Not yeah. even just like, at the, oh, come yeah. see us, no, 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 you're on a yeah. Show Posta. How challenging was it getting a place to play, and how were uh, how are guys like? How would people view you? Uh, mm. I think yeah. It, yeah. yeah. So yeah. We, we had the advantage of the like Chizzy said, it's the we are thing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there was a, an underground movement that, to be honest, these days the waves that we have, we've been catching, yeah, yeah. going and pushing forward with and surfing them. But right. there was an underground movement where we, we ended up in some weird garage. Yeah. <laughs> and then they said, oh my God, this thing is real. And uh, mm. people love this music and they mosh. And they yeah. And they, so what we, I think from there, we followed them up. And so every time there was a gig, we followed. Right. Every time there was, and then we yeah. became friends with them and they realized, oh, there's something here these guys are doing mm -hmm. that is actually worth presenting to yeah. other people and we push their agenda in ours in terms of building the rock scene in Kenya, and that's how we ended up following gig after gig, Razoras, yeah. and so on, mm. back and forth until now. Here yeah. So hey. And here we are in 2021, yeah. still doing the same exactly. thing. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. amazing. You see, there's so many people who actually give up on their dreams. Like yeah. you start, and then even you guys have careers. Yeah. But then that does not interrupt your music life. You yeah. get it. Someone will leave that. They're like, ah, oh, this thing isn't working out. Then yeah. they'll stop yeah. and concentrate on their career. But I'm so glad you all are still here and Thank just like you. inspiring other people. <laughs> so speaking of inspiration, I think everybody has their favorite, right? I want to know who like inspired you back in the day. Yeah. Everybody has that. That one band, like you look at this guy perform those videos you are watching. You're like, I'm this guy. I can do that. Yeah, local, I just need to touch it. Yeah, there were local bands. Um, yeah. Most of them were from the expatriate schools, mm -hmm. so uh, from Roslyn and whatnot. And yeah. that's how we got introduced to them. So a lot of punk and ska sort of bands. But um, yeah, but for metal, yeah, for, is no metal, rare. no metal. Was, yeah, is what we used to watch. Uh, I guess from YouTube or online at the time. Yeah. So, wow, the bands, I, I mean, Cheesy, what, what's the one? I don't know if you can name I know Deftones one band. is one of them. Deftones, right? Yeah, yeah, for course. sure. Yeah. Chino, Chino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, but I don't know how you knew, yeah. But, uh, there's a whole array of bands, I'd say, but yeah. uh, mostly, I think, is when we were starting off in yeah. uni, uh, the bands like, I think, Every individual in the band like has That's their different. preference. Yeah. Uh, mm. Probably for me it was more of screamo, kind of emo, screamo-ish, uh, funeral for a friend, mm. uh, yeah. under oath, mm -hmm. uh, a day to remember, yeah. 
uh, confide, uh, just like super sure. melodic just stuff. Like in a like, band, remember the door post, code yeah. is... Mm -hmm. I think we have the same, just uh, I'm a melody sucker, so yeah, anything melodic, probably I love, yeah. Uh, locally, uh, I'd say also I get inspired by people. Uh, Ted also, uh, before we had LYT, these guys had a band called Puerto Vatico. Oh. Uh, and they used to, I used to go for their gigs, yeah? Uh, and I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. These guys are mascaring, they're killing it. Then later on, we formed now L LYT. LYT. So I think my band inspired me also yeah. uh, to give me also Motisha, Kupambana uh, Naiki too. Also, the other bands. Akina Dan, say, guys for the scene who like you really have had time to sit with them and create also with them in the studio or share ideas. Uh, Dan, Rafo, uh, Sam Waroi from Rush, yeah. the whole Akina Nico. Hughes, Seismic, Nico, every, everyone, Amo. Yeah. Uh, personally, I haven't been inspired by vocalists only. Uh, at a guitarist, nini, because you'll scare a particular melody or something, you're like, what? Yeah. The melody can change, I can undica something better, or something like that, yeah. So, locally, the scene has really inspired because we are more of a communal community. Even mm -hmm. easy, COVID, people are not meeting as much as we were back in the day, and commitments with Jobo and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'd say locally, yes, guys have inspired me, and internationally, of course. As well. Yeah, yeah as well. Yeah. Do you want to add on to that? I'm going to move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're asking about inspiration, I think us guys, and the reason our music sounds the way it does, because we, were, we really, really got into it, and we really came together at a certain time when metalcore was really coming into its own. Yeah. So right. there were like, I mean, there were more than 10, but like the 10 bands I can think of, that I mean, communally we all liked. So mm -hmm. if you, I'll just uh, name a few. So of course you have put as a lady dying there. Mm -hmm. There was um, Kill Switch Engage. Yeah. You put a tree you in there. Way. There was Parkway Drive. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, all, all that remains. All that was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cal Caliban. Yeah, Caliban. Uh, I can't forget about those guys. A funeral yeah. for a friend. Um, right. Yeah. So. And that's, I think they had the biggest influence in, our, on, in terms of our music. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. And now, Chizzy keeps talking about um, uh, evolving. Yes. I want to know about that. I mean, since your first, maybe EP, until now, <laughs> amongst yeah. Liar, yeah. how can you say you've evolved as a band? Now, not yeah. just vocally, yeah. but uh, yeah. let's talk about that. I think uh, I'd say the creative writing process right. of our music. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really changed because our first, actually we were talking about it with Diallo earlier, uh, our first EP was called Damnation of the Week. Actually, we back in yeah. the day. Uh, and funny enough, we actually recorded it at the Kenash National Theatre. Yeah. Uh, that's back in what, 2006, 2007? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? So I'd say then we had I took away in sync, I took what to my party of flow Vizuri. We hadn't gotten the flow really nicely. Uh, after that I think we released a few songs here and there and like went through various studios, uh, Radio Africa, Akina yeah. Stevo. Yeah. Uh, but Actually, we didn't get the sound really we wanted. So yeah. when challenge came up, challenge accepted. Mm -hmm. EP, uh, I think that's when we like triggered something in us. We we're like, oh, oh, there's a particular sound. Uh, yeah. We are feeling, feeling. yeah, we are mm -hmm. feeling. Uh, there's a bounce in it when you skiza songs like Elephant, Generation, Challenge mm -hmm. Accepted, Much from the Underground. Mm -hmm. Like there was a kind of growth mm -hmm. in terms of both the writing process uh, coming together and more so the quality of the recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. a long time ago, people didn't really know how to record live music. Yeah. A lot of Afrofusion guys used to do it, but when it comes to like rock music, it will be hard for them. Yeah, yeah it's kind of I think even up to date. I yeah. mean, even it's right now, yeah. rock yeah. is different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, so even a really good producer will really struggle yeah. recording so rock music. I don't music. know if you guys would want to add on to something because uh, uh, about the evolution. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe, growth. Yeah, I feel like the growth has also happened in terms of life. Yeah. 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 If you don't mind, like many of us are not. You know, we all imagine. We're just waiting for that call. They'll call us and then now we are touring. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, what actually happened was that many of us evolved life-wise. Right. Like Chizzy mentioned earlier, many of us got jobs, many of us started our careers, and mm. working, our families. families. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we said our families, there are so many... And that evolution has also allowed us to evolve how we, like you said, write our music because mm-hmm. the, the things that we feel like we need to talk about or yeah. there's a way we feel like we should express ourselves, there's a way we feel like even us, where I was in 2008, the fanboy, is not who I need to. Is not who I am right now. Right. And the music now, I think, Amax Lion speaks. Yeah. Speaks volumes about how all yeah, of yeah. us have, have really, really grown. Grown, you know, yeah. That evolution has. Yeah. Come out right. in our album, yeah. And now, before we even talk um, now about the album, there are so many other bands that yeah. are in the scene now, the, the yes. rock scene in Kenya. It has grown. What do you think about that? What do you think about of the young bands? That I. Honestly, I couldn't be more excited now. I know we've been here for a long time. Some yeah. of that joke, we've been here past three elections or something. <laughs> <laughs> Over three elections, yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But that's good. I mean, when we started, and I think that's one of the things, personally, I, I was always, I always aspired to, like, because of watching bands play, I wanted to play. So mm-hmm. we wanted to put ourselves in a position uh, through hard work. Like if we could just inspire that one person to pick yeah. up a guitar or drumsticks and or bass have. or whatever. And for me, honestly, that's all <laughs> no, we ever wanted you to have. Do for yeah? No, no, honestly speaking, they've been here. Shout out to Bizarro. Bizarro was here Bizarro. Um, sometime yeah. last year, towards the end of the year. And he was yeah. like, yo, man, before I even started singing, I would just look at cheesy. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my god, I want to be like him, yeah. you see? Yeah. So that's a lot of money to say good things. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We need to. We need to start. We need to start. Yeah. So, yeah, so you inspire so many guys. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure, like, whatever you're doing, you, when you do, go, like, uh, like, like your album is really, really nice. I was telling you guys before we even uh, yeah, started the you. interview. Thank so, you. when you do something like that, someone else will want to top that. You get? Because yeah. you've already set that bar way too high. Mm. So, they just can't do, you know, yeah. mediocre. They yeah. have to, if I look up to you, I yeah. want to be like you. So, I know I have to do better. So, that's really nice. And this album, I'm talking about Amangus Lion, it just dropped. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, Ooh. was it yesterday? No, it was Thursday. on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I dropped yeah. on Thursday. I'm telling you, guys, I've been waiting for this album for <laughs> nearly a decade. <laughs> I'm not even playing <laughs> seven years. Yes, yes. What? So, how did you know it was time? Because I know you are holding on to it for yeah. the longest time. They're like, no, 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 it's not perfect yet. No, no, we still need. <laughs> I, I, that's what I, I'm yeah. just thinking. But it's been so. How did you know it was time? Like, okay, fine, we gotta let her go. Yeah. She's grown now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, how did you know? Yeah, um, I guess we'll, we'll go this way. So yeah. it's, it's complicated because honestly, this album should have maybe come out maybe two or three years ago, right? According to our plan, and we started recording honestly in around 2018. Um, but the studios Andromeda, where we are, stu- uh, where we are currently recording, mm-hmm. um, I think the owners of the studio, or whatnot, it, they they shut it down. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, so <laughs> our producer and very good friend and brother to the band, Nick, um, told him, uh, just, he brought us together and asked if we could trust him because he was going to set up a studio in his house, which is all the way in Machakos. Oh. Yeah, so, um, which took a while, so that delayed. Right. And then um, when we finally got ready and we started recording again and we knew that we we're going to release this in 2020. Oh, all yeah. right. And then boom, COVID. <laughs> you know, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, and honestly, to be in in many ways, I'm actually grateful because what happened is in that span of time that we didn't release this, we, like I said, you know, we've really grown, and even the way we wanted to communicate and articulate the things in the songs have changed. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of the work that we did, especially last year, when it comes to right. rewriting the songs, is because we just felt, you know, this needs to be a bit more fresher. It needs to be a bit more current. And we think the, our audience deserves to uh, listen to the best version of ourselves. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, Among Us Lions yeah. happened. Yeah. First, okay, Ted, before you even respond to that, you've got to mm-hmm. tell us about the title. Mm-hmm. Among yeah. Us Lions. How, how did that yeah. come about? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should have a, like a smoking pipe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's, like, again, it's been really inspired by everybody bringing their own mm-hmm. element of their lives to come together. But the idea of amongst lions is a bit of a duality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like um, 
recognize that I think you're in a jungle of lions. Right. And you have to be aware that you need to be one as well. But at the same time, be proud of the fact that for our band, we are amongst lions. Mm. Okay. And so we yeah. thought to do a, a kind of a magnum opus. Yeah. For <laughs> wow. Yeah. We should, we should okay. really say yeah. we are amongst lions, but at yeah. the same time, we share the message lions. that people should be aware that they are amongst lions. Mm. And right. that they can be one too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Chizzy, Chizzy can tell us about the album names. I mean, who comes up with those titles? <laughs> Have you all heard about that? <laughs> this perihelion, this mama, this intercessor, like, like um, it, the names, yeah. there are so many. They're, they're, yeah. like, oh, him? Okay, mm. what, what happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, here's, here's something really cool. We come up with the names even before we write yeah, the songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it's really cool. And the way I personally do it, so, and, and Cheesy, I know, will expound and turn on the songwriting process is that um, when, we, when we started writing the album, there are some songs content wise we knew we wanted to talk about. Mm. So even before I started playing, you know, just jamming a riff or whatever, I'm just like, okay. What's the coolest representation of what we want to talk about? <laughs> All right. Yeah, in other words, yeah? yeah. So, and maybe this is, I guess, a first to the audience and everything. Little do people know that there are three songs in the album are technically one song. It's one story. Oh. So, Red Dwarf, mm -hmm. uh, Perihelion, mm -hmm. and Aphelion. Yeah, Aphelion and Perihelion. Yeah, yeah. Red Dwarf, uh, Perihelion, and Aphelion yeah. are literally just one long song. <laughs> yeah, you have to one break long it story down. which you broke down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, and we just think of cool names. Sometimes when we're jamming, you know, someone will, like Maya will say, let's call this song this, let's call this song this. I mean, the song is not even laid out completely yet. And then, uh, of course, when you go to record, we have to fine tune it and everything. Yeah, but most of the time, we yeah. come up with the name of songs even before we have right. the song itself. Yeah. And you, talk, you, you talked about content and songwriting. Yeah. So this is going to be for Cheesy. Yeah. Um, 11 tracks on the album. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the issues you've tackled in the album in those 11 tracks? Especially given that it's 2021, so many issues. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2021, uh, I can touch on a few songs because mm -hmm. uh, it depends. Uh, there are some songs we released earlier. Uh, Mammoth, Perihelion, uh, Pounds of Flesh. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And... No, that's it. That's it. Huh? Yeah, that's it. I didn't yeah. know that's 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 available. Yeah. yeah, even on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah. The, the message, uh, <laughs> the message is, it's, the message is very different mm -hmm. in all of the tracks and what I really like also uh, is to challenge people to read the lyrics because what I noted is uh, there's a way I'll do a song he'll write a song or no. Diallo will write a song no, but just the so interpretation yeah. sorry I'm gonna yeah. interrupt you on that one yeah. I think they tried to you have you ever read lyrics but then you're like huh what yeah. does that mean yeah. you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you read yeah. it yeah. but then you don't get it you're yeah. like Okay. I get the lyrics, but yeah. then I still don't get it. I'm like, okay. Because yeah. oh, there's, there's one that speaks about, um, I think it was talking about hell and uh, and I think heaven or something. Uh, no, perihelion. Was, yeah, perihelion. Yeah. So I'm like, I, 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 I got through the lyrics, I'm yeah. jamming to it, but I'm like, huh, okay. Okay, lit of course it's not literally, yeah. but then. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, is it open yeah. to one's inter yeah. interpretation? Ah, you. you nailed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. The common from what I've gotten yeah. with working with these guys is mm -hmm. I mean they love to leave, you know, they use a lot of allegory and yeah, you know, yeah, you know euphemisms here. Yeah. And we want to leave that to the audience to make the decisions about what the song is. However, that being said, there are definite themes that come mm -hmm. out very strongly mm -hmm. in amongst yeah. lines yeah. that uh, these guys uh, like forty seven, you can give yeah. examples at least for Yeah, forty seven yeah. is definitely well us guys because we're Kenyans. Yeah. I thought uh, Nairobi. Yeah, so <laughs> well, no, it's not that it's not Nairobi. Nairobi. But we want guys. And for someone coming in, it's definitely a very politically leaning song. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. be Kenyan and not care about politics, yeah, yeah, unless yeah. you're part of the problem, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. we come out very strongly and say how we feel about it. 
uh, the perihelions of this world, you know, some of them have to do with, you know, mental health issues and how yeah. people cope with grief. Yeah. Um, themselves. Uh, yeah, themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, depression. depression. And I'm glad you guys yeah. touched on that because I, I keep talking about this here and depression is really affecting people. We just yes. saw the other story on the news, this kid who yeah, yeah. killed five of his family members yeah. and then blamed this on a movie. And I was thinking it's deeper than that because yeah. when someone talks about depression here, number ah, when you pesa, una, yeah. depression, you get. Yeah. So I feel like it's about time we address that. We have to talk about this deeper and you guys are doing that. Yeah. in songs and just you know and guys listen to yeah. that yeah. yeah so i get that and you featured rich she's also a sweetheart <laughs> most rock guys love yes. her how was it working with her and how did you know she's the one you wanted to work with uh, on the album first it's rich yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, you know. <laughs> and also, we've been friends with Rishi for a very long time ago. Very she long used time. to cover yeah. the scene, mm, talk about the before. scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She really pushed the scene in terms yeah. of her, her articles. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, articles yeah. in Zuka, in mm -hmm. other platforms, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she decided to become an artist, of course, we were were very supportive and we were like, yeah, yeah welcome. Come, yeah. come struggle with us for our 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, a funny fact, yeah. we are with her in primary. I never oh. knew we'd meet later on in life. Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. We're in primary Plot school together. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. In the same class, actually. Whoa! Okay, that's really dope. Yeah. Like, mind-blowing. Uh, maturity and master class and yeah. also her appreciation of the scene as much as we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about growing the scene for most of us. And then uh, we got fortunate with Andromeda. Who, was mm -hmm. working, who they were working together with? Yeah, with Rich as well. She, she records there. Yeah. yeah, she records there. And then um, mm -hmm. they were like, Yeah, you know what? This would be a good idea. But Diallo, yeah. I'll tell you, was the one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I knew. Yeah, I mean, there's a thing. We are, and, and I, 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 yeah. we're very humble to to, to hear yeah, from you that um, that other bands look up to us. Or yeah, whatever. they do. They do. We they look do. up to Rich. Yeah. <laughs> she is such an amazing and artist. And there's another yeah. fact yeah. us out there that rockers go to primary school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can you imagine? Yeah. You know, like yeah. sometimes I'll, I'll be, I'll have an interview like how you guys are here, and then yeah. we're just talking, and then you'll find some comments like, "Ah, yeah. oh, send you a Kenya queen." Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. What do you mean? Of course. Nothing yeah. like that. They're, they're just, oh, 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 okay, there's this stereotype like rockers are cool kids. Yeah. I went to primary. I went to group of schools yeah, and stuff. Z. No, Miss Kaksema, primary. but you're cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like any other kid, yeah. but yeah. cooler. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, so um, your your song, like one of the songs I actually love also in the album is The Relation. We just yeah. played it. We're going to be playing it also after the interview. Yes. I want to know the yeah. making of that video. Oh. What? You guys have seen it. Yeah. Like, how was that? How? Okay, first of all, how long did it take? And uh, how was it making it? Because the video is sick. Like, what? Oh. And edit. Yeah. Who then? Because like it's just it's it's a perfection. So I want to know about that. <laughs> the, no, you. It, it took a whole day. Yeah. <laughs> it took a whole day, man. Jack like I said, this last ten years I've taken a toll on our knees, <laughs> our necks. <laughs> This is why you don't see us in most kids anymore. Oh my goodness. Are so, Look at um, him. Can you imagine at yeah. his age, he's like, <laughs> we're not as young as we are. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what, what can you say about the making of the video? Uh, it was fun. Yeah. I'd start with that. Uh, First, it's the first video I think we've done off of us guys creating ourselves because most of the videos we've done them ourselves yeah. uh, and with our friends. <coughs> uh, yeah, so the making of the video was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't then, know what you then, Yeah, I just said we had um, the advantage of being very close to the, the director yeah. mm -hmm. called uh, David Mashari. Yeah. And, uh, sure. <laughs> and um, the videographer. Mike, so they were friends before anything, also in the scene, growing the scene yeah. together. Yeah. So for them, they knew our tone, our voice, the yeah. vision we had, and then we kept, we, b we were able to build off of them instead of someone coming with a proposal and oh. we did yeah. the swimming pool situation. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. you so know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so they were like, why don't we do this thing? And they were so efficient. In setting it up, we actually didn't feel a lot of struggle. We yeah. just contributed what we wanted in the vision, 
and they were like, yeah, let us handle it. And uh, David and Mike yeah. did the job, and when we went there, we we, we were there. So it yeah. was it was the video had a journey. I guess it's a story there, but we enjoyed it awesomely. And yeah. I feel like when the time comes to do more, we'll definitely be about that. Right. Um, so, of course, definitely, we play favorites, right? Yeah. Like, I play favorite. Even you put me on the, on the spot. Yeah. So, I gotta do this. Um, okay. I need everybody's favorite on the album. Uh, mm -hmm. I know. I'm glad you guys yeah. did yeah. to good yeah. vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So, when I get to you, I actually wow. did to you when we are live. So, oh, yeah. I'm gonna start with Cheesy. Do your favorite yes. Uh, <laughs> do your favorite change. Actually, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm feeling Aphelion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aphelion, and I've always told them. But also, listening to the album, there's some songs which are growing on me, so I'm super confused. But <laughs> let me just say Aphelion for the sake of just yeah, answering yeah. Yeah. Aphelion. For the sake of the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, uh, Aphelion, <laughs> but I'm feeling all the songs because yeah. it has a different kind of vibe and mood. Yeah, true, true, So true, true. if you want the heavy, I can go to like in a violation in medias. Mm -hmm. uh, if I want the cuddling, cuddling, uh, the soft, soft uh, yeah. intercessor. Cuddling. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there are different songs which personally uh, like trigger something different in me. So right. yeah, uh, and I think it's the same for we are discussing that earlier with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know cool. you guys. Uh, Ten. I, I, I know, but it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, Ten. Uh, yeah. Um, pretty much the same thing. I think uh, we have so many songs that, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing about yeah. Yeah. lions. Each line is different. Yeah. And we like to think we have 11 plus of, mm. of them for you to experience. Mm. Yeah. And at first, I started with 47, which by the way, stands as something uh, Dialo and Joseph did with that guitar that was it's fantastic rhythm. Yeah. Me. It was I very fun. Very mind. fun to play. And yeah. I happened to just walk into the practice, whatever, and find them there doing it. And I was like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. This is a song. Uh -huh. So, uh, I'll say 47. Mm -hmm. Uh, Perihelion and Aphelion. Yeah. No, you're gonna pick yeah. one. We're doing just one song. One. Just, yeah, just one. one. Just the one. one song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. Remember Salab. Perihelion. <laughs> Perihelion. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, this is easy, and I'm super biased. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, right? yeah, so I, I have, to, I, of course, I have to say thank you to the actual lead singers of this band because they allowed me to write a song Ooh, and actually okay. sing on a song. All right. And sing on it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Thread Level Midnight. Okay. Yeah. So is it, that is my favorite song. Everyone, ha yeah. everybody is, is different. Yeah. Like it's a whole album. We love the whole yes. album, but everybody has a different favorite. I like that. Now, as we wind up, because yeah. of time, yeah. uh, my director, like yeah. time, yes. time. Okay. Now, as we wind up, I want to know, like, um, you see, like I told you, many guys look up to you, mm -hmm. and there are some guys who are watching at home. Twenty twenty was really hard yeah. on everyone across the world. Yeah. So, any message of hope, just to the guys at home? Just do you have mm -hmm. anything you can tell them as we wind? Down. Mm. Yeah. Cheesy, cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. No, mm. I'll just say because uh, as you said, it's been hard for everyone. Yeah. And everyone have had their personal or individualistic journeys. So my experiences may not be necessarily yours, but I'll mm -hmm. just say just keep on what you're doing. Uh, be good as in just be on be a better person and be yes. a better person who adds value to the other people around you yeah because mm. oh. i don't know what else to say it's hard because i can say uh, do this do this but you have to just be a kichungi save off what you see is bad yeah. take what is good learn 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 and be better and add value to people yeah cool yeah, yeah. that's amazing mm. i like that Gosh, he's, taking all the he's taking all the good ones no. yeah. <laughs> it's hard yeah. to talk yeah. that um, <laughs> Uh, same here. I know many people say life is short, mm -hmm. but I like to also say that life is long. Mm -hmm. And this album has taught us yeah. that life is long. Let's to get yeah. here. And yeah. to get here is growth. And it requires you, like Chizzy has said and it reiterates that you have to be a person of value mm -hmm. and find people mm -hmm. of value. And believe that um, if you put hard work into something that you believe in, despite whatever is happening, you can be able to get to where you are going or where the universe or, you know, wants to take you away, where you should be in your oh. life. And I think the music also speaks for itself in terms of it's very not don't give up. Yeah. And I think yeah. none of us actually gave up when it was very easy for us to just say, yeah. you know, yeah. we're done. Yeah. And um, 
just believe that you have what it takes to get oh. to where you're going in it. And yeah. Uh, mine, mine, is, mine is very simple and that's why I even wrote that song because uh, Third Level Midnight is one, just be empathetic. Yeah, everyone is going through a struggle that you possibly couldn't know. Mm -hmm. So of course be kind to others and also be kind to yourself. Most importantly, yeah, be, be kind, kind to, to yourself, yourself as well. Yeah. He said empathetic, not a pushover though. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. Don't be a pushover. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, so because of time, I'm yeah. just going to let, okay, you'll, t you'll tell us um, the social media handles where yeah. people can find you. And yeah. then maybe Cheesy can tell us uh, where the album is available for the guys looking to buy. Okay. Ted will tell us for cheap people like us, like me, where we can find you for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, follow us on all our social media pages. We are on Twitter, which is Last Year's Tragedy, at Last Year's Tragedy. We are on Facebook, at Last Year's Tragedy. And on Instagram, we are LYT. We uh, underscore uh, are uh, underscore LYT. LYT. Cool. Cheesy. Well, uh, the guys, because it's been seven years, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can just, like, yeah. I, don't, it, I don't think the album is expensive. So you can spread yeah. money just to mm. buy the album. Where uh, are they I buying it from? three platforms. Probably the Yellow Canard, if I leave yeah. out one. Uh, Bandcamp, mm -hmm. uh, slash last year strategy of course, uh, mm -hmm. there is Spotify, we are on yeah. Spotify and in on iTunes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, iTunes, Spotify, Deezer. Huh? oh Deezer as yeah. well. Yeah, Deez we are yeah. most of the streaming. Well, actually oh. Boomplay, oh, I think almost all, all, all platforms. Yeah. All, all platforms. Like, all, yeah. 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 Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, uh, and our, our on platforms like uh, Bandcamp, guys can listen for free. Yep. Yes. But they cannot download. You have to no, buy. If you want to download, you'd have to buy. Yeah, if you want to download, you purchase. You have yeah. to purchase. But you can go listen for free. Oh, but you can listen yeah. for free. Yeah. You can stream yeah. it. Yeah. You can stream yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And speaking of streaming, you can stream the show live. That is at uh, whitefefo.co.ke. That was amazing. But we still have other stuff to come up. We have Rock Post. Stick around for that. Mm. His skills has another new segment. He's going to be sharing with us in a few. Yeah. The hashtag is Rock Tour Two Fefo. Man, a big shout out to you guys for Thank coming you. through. That was amazing, yo. And y'all. Next time you're coming, you have to perform for us, right? <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once we fix good. that, you all yeah. can come through and just yeah. perform so that the guys at home can have an experience. Those That's who've so never fantastic. come through for gigs, yeah. they can see what we see when we go out there. Yeah. It's been fun having you guys. We're still around. Keep it white, 254. Right about now, violation. Bye.